welcome to the August edition of Corner Sun Presents. Hi, I'm Richard Montez and welcome to Cape Town, South Africa. I just arrived here last night after a wonderful show in Nairobi and after a good time with friends in Durban. But I want to show you all that the Lord was doing in Nairobi, Kenya last month. Here's a short report. I arrived in Nairobi, excited to see what the Lord would do. Kenya is beautiful. However, things weren't as they seemed, for the beauty of Kenya had been replaced by ugly lies and assumptions by one of the pastors there. As in all other countries, for 18 years, I had an agreement with the pastor what the responsibilities would be. However, once I arrived, he reneged on everything, leaving me high and dry. I had to pay for my own hotel, food, and all living conditions. I was so mad I canceled and was going to leave Kenya. However, the Lord spoke in such a gentle way and said, Son, for good or bad, invest in the spiritual condition of Kenya. Well, based on God's word, I decided to stay and then pay for the show with my meager missionary bank account. Friends were wonderful to help me fund the theatrical outreach, so we began rehearsals with a talented group of actors. I also tried to reach as many churches as I could and started preaching and speaking and promoting the event. I went on radio and we reached many people. Financially, I was trying to keep prices low. Still, I tried to be faithful to be a blessing to the cast with what little I had by buying them food and drinks. I saw the best and the worst of Kenya. Some of the Kenyans were truly godly and loved the Lord and did whatever they could to help the show. Others, however, only wanted money or a trip to America and didn't care about the spiritual side. How sad. But we kept moving on and we started working on the decorations and some of the workers came and they were a blessing. Soon it was time to move into the theater. The sets were ready, the costumes were ready, and we started mounting all the sets. We had a rehearsal on the stage and things were going well, but the money problems continued as the lighting and sound wanted more money than they had originally asked for, although they weren't giving me the sound and the lighting that I had originally asked for. But we continued to move forward. It was finally opening night and we prayed and we opened. The Lord blessed the production in spite of all the problems and Nairobi audiences were blessed by all the beautiful scenes and the message of the show. Altogether, hundreds were touched by the message of the production for which we give God all the glory. At the end, instead of thanks, I had many who still only wanted money and even tried to rob me. That saddened me. Nonetheless, I thanked everyone and left Kenya with an empty bank account. I flew on to South Africa, to Durban, and was blessed by many dear friends like Charmaine Smith. I flew on then to Cape Town, where I would conduct an actor's workshop. We had a great time, and Good Hope Christian Center was generous to bless me with a beautiful hotel and a financial gift. Great to see friends Grant Hendricks and David Cornelson. I then flew on to Port Elizabeth and met many dear friends like Jeff and Saray Latham and Philip and Yvette Georgiou, who again blessed me with a beautiful place to stay and with a financial gift. God was blessing my obedience in Kenya with unexpected gifts in South Africa. Finally, I hugged all my friends goodbye and flew on to Dnipropetrovsk. Well, as you can see, the last week has been a very busy week with lots of traveling throughout South Africa and then finally arriving here in Dnipropetrovsk, Ukraine. You can see all that the Lord was able to do in Kenya, Africa. But you know, the most important thing for me were the souls that came into the kingdom. But what a tough time and what a great price would have to be paid. I pray that I won't have to go through it again, but you never know. I'm happy to do God's will. Well, that wraps up this month's edition of Cornerstone Presents for the month of August. For more information, you can log on to www.cornerstonearts.com. But for now, we've got a lot of work to do here in Dnieper Petrovsk. So please keep us in prayer as we're going into auditions and then into the production. So, Cornerstone Presents, I'm Richard Montes.